All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to delineate a watershed using StreamStats USGS uh, application. You don't need it to be downloaded. You just go to the above URL. Normally, I do this by hand, but I'm working on a drainage now that's a little bit confusing. Um, and so basically what you do is once you get to this, uh, you click StreamStats application. If you want to Google, you just Google it. Um, Basically, what you got to do is you got to put your point of interest. So I have the uh, lat longs for the point of interest already. So uh, I enter it there, and then um, you have to be zoomed in to. Um, so it, there, it shows a red dot where the area of interest is, and then if you want, if you zoom in to um, level 15. It'll allow you to delineate um, the, the the watershed upstream. So you click the delineate button, and then it tells you to click on the blue stream cell to start the deline delineation. And I want it to be uh, right at where my point of interest is. And then it'll delineate the basin for me. Takes a little while. The good thing about this tool is if you're second guessing your delineation, um, you can double check it with this tool. Um, like I said, some drainage areas are a little bit more confusing than others when you're trying to delineate them. On this one, we're uh, trying to design a pond. Before we can design the pond, we need to know the area upstream and then we can do our chapter two hydrology. So there it's done. And um, you're going to click continue. This will actually give you some regressions. Um, on this one, the only option I get, get is peak flow statistics. And so once you click peak flow statistics, you can continue. And then it'll give you some information. Um, See what it says. Build report. Okay. So this is the report it gives you. You can enter the report title, enter any comments. Um, it'll tell you what the. So this one it says uh, 4.52 square miles. It gives you the mean precipitation. The maximum 24-hour precipitation occurs on average in 100 years. Uh, 3.55 inches um, and then it even goes as far as giving you your peak floods I think this just got updated because last time I used it I had to do that by hand but um, the tool's gone better apparently so um, you can do it by hand with chapter 2 hydrology and see how this see if it um, comes close I haven't truthed that yet because this tool, as far as this two year, it hasn't, wasn't available when I used it last, so I still do it by hand. But uh, then you can print it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But that's basically how you would delineate a watershed that you are quizzical of doing it by hand. I still recommend you do it by hand um, and then check your work using this. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks, bye.